Well, National Reading Month is celebrated every March. It's a celebration of literacy, but also a time to reflect on how to get every student the tools they need to succeed. And when it comes to English language learners, their needs are different. News 3 anchor Pari Cruz this morning showing us how educators are trying to close those gaps to make sure every student gets the best education they can. According to the Virginia Department of Education, the number of English language learners has increased by 20% statewide, and these students can encounter a unique set of challenges trying to navigate life in a new language. So we came down to Tidewater Community College to speak to students and instructors to find out more about their experiences. My godmother, sometimes I'm saying something in English and she's like, can you repeat this again, please, because I don't understand you. And then I get frustrated because she doesn't understand me. Originally from Honduras, Alessandra Balos has studied English at Tidewater Community College for six months now. She says it was hard when she first moved to the U.S. It was horrible, a disaster. I remember that during my first two weeks, I think so, I was not able to understand what native speakers were saying. But the international student worked hard to overcome the language barrier. And then through the time I was like, oh, no, I understood what you just said. So I feel more comfortable. She moved to the States in the hopes of getting a college degree. You know, this is, I think, the biggest dream of any person to get a higher education in another country that is not yours. English language learners develop their English literacy skills by mastering the same elements as they would with any other language by working on their listening and comprehension, vocabulary and fluency. I'm here to study cybersecurity, but it's, uh, it turns out that my English is not good enough to go directly to my uh, cybersecurity major, so I have to improve my English before. Like Alessandra, Muhammad Olusumare moved here to study. He knew some English before he came to the country with his family from Togo. But he'd find himself translating what he wanted to say from French into English. Because I think my English has improved and the one proof of that is I'm here speaking English, but I'm still working on it in order to to be comfortable, more comfortable. Both students said they don't know where they'd be if it hadn't been for support from their teachers and TCC. I've learned this language myself, so I know the what's difficult and how much time perhaps something takes. Originally from Estonia, Mrs. Russell says she's walked in her students' shoes because she was once an English learner too. This semester, the ESL program at TCC has 132 students enrolled. Russell teaches nearly a third of them. I believe that we learn a second language just like we learn how to play the piano. Basically, you just have to practice. According to the Virginia Department of Education, more than 10,000 adult students are English language learners. The students I spoke with saying if you're intimidated to start learning English, don't be. No se sientan tímidos. Eh, el inglés puede ser difícil, puede ser eh, loco a veces, pero cuando menos lo esperen van a estar hablando en inglés. Yo pienso que si tú estás en Estados Unidos y que tú quieres mejorar, tú quieres avanzar en la vida en Estados Unidos, tú eres obligado de aprender el inglés. Si tú quieres reír en este país, tú vas a tener que saber comunicar. But it's not just these students studying English who are learning. Each of them brings a unique background and perspective that can help enrich all of Hampton Roads. In Virginia Beach, I'm Pari Cruz, News 3.